Stakers hopes in the crypto markets lie with the 50 day moving average as staking officially went live on KuCoin. Also, Ethereum Classic Miners can now mine Zilliqa. G'day viewers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where today I bring you the latest news from the world of Zilliqa. These two pieces from Ethereum World News. The first article reads, Zilliqa has had an incredible run in the crypto markets since bottoming out in mid-March during the coronavirus crash. From the local low in March to its recent high of three cents, Zilliqa has managed to give a return on investment of 13.3x for anyone who perfectly timed both the bottom and the top. The recent developments are reasons to stay bullish, says this piece. Additionally, the Zilliqa project has had very significant developments in the second quarter of 2020. To begin with, staking recently went live on KuCoin Exchange, with Binance also on the list of major exchanges supporting Zill staking in the near future. Now that's big news in itself. Furthermore, Ethereum Classic miners can opt to also mine Zilliqa in a dual mining process courtesy of Ezil.me. This method of mining automatically switches between the two blockchains during specific times of the day. Now that is fantastic news and frustrating news for me personally as a miner. I have lots of rigs at home, a huge rig with lots of machines that I would be taking advantage of if I were back there to set this up. Certainly something I'm going to be looking forward to as soon as I get back to the land down under. This subheading talks about Zilliqa's hopes in the crypto markets lying within the 50 day MA. So to top it all off, the crypto exchange of Binance recently introduced the Zill to USDT perpetual contract. It is with this contract that traders can now long or short Zilliqa with a leverage of up to 50x. Now that's dangerous if you're gonna leverage up to 50x. That's a very quick way to make a lot of money, but an even quicker way to lose lots more. It is therefore easy to argue that the recent availability of the option to short Zill with USDT might be behind Zilliqa's wows in the crypto markets. However, all is not lost for bulls, as the 50-day moving average provides clues as to Zilliqa's next move in the markets. Further, checking the daily Zill to USDT charts courtesy of TradingView, as we can see here, the following can be observed. Now before I read this, I encourage you to take a look at this uh, white line that goes along here because there will be reference made to that as we dive into this a bit deeper. The 50 day moving average, that white line we just pointed out, provides adequate support at around the $0.14 mark or the one and a half cent mark nearly. This price level of the MA will change but the main focus should be at the 50 day moving average. Other short term zones of Zilliqa at its current price of about 1.7 cents include the following 1.6 cents, 1.4 cents, 1.1 cents and 0.9 cents. Trade volume is in the red and decreasing further pointing to a bearish scenario for Zilliqa. MACD has also crossed in a bearish manner and the MFI is also pointing towards a correction. Uh, what are your thoughts on that crypto goers? Are we looking at the TA here? So that little summary there was focused purely on TA rather than what's happening in the markets. Remember with TA there's only so much information we can get from that. If you're always relying on technical analysis uh, you would and it worked, you would be rich and everyone would do it because you could just put a mathematical equation onto what is happening on the charts and everyone would be rich. But of course, TA, although it has value, does not always work and there are other factors in it. So here, this analysis using TA suggests that it could be a little bit bearish for us out there with Zilliqa. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. And by the way, of course, if you want to buy Zilliqa, there are links below. But moving on with the conclusion to this article, Zilliqa has had a brilliant ride in the markets since the coronavirus crash due to several fundamental bullish factors. However, the three cent resistant level proved to be difficult a difficult hurdle for the coin to break. Therefore, in the short term, the 50 day moving average might be a crucial support zone for Zill to USDT to experience a bounce providing relief for bulls. As with all technical analysis of Zilliqa, investors and traders are advised to have an eye out for any major moves by Bitcoin that might cause havoc in the crypto markets. Additionally, stop losses are advised to protect trading capital. That's a good bit of advice there. We don't give financial advice on this channel, of course, but reading from this article, we know that uh, typically, not always, but typically the market follows Bitcoin. As Bitcoin pumps up, 
the altcoins follow very closely behind, sometimes a little bit delayed, but we can see massive gains in altcoins because a altcoin to go from one cent to two cent, as, as an example, that's a 100% gain, but it's only going up a cent per coin. Now, for Bitcoin to double in value, at the moment it needs to get up about $10,000, about 9,500 US. It's got to double, uh, it's got to make that gain to double in its value. And that's why there are big gains to be made in altcoins, but of course there are big risks within altcoins. And that's why it's exciting with some of these very powerful altcoins such as Silica, such as Cardano, and such as others out there that have a relatively small unit price a relatively impressive market price, as in a market cap, but big volumes that are something to watch as these prices can go up very quickly with huge returns. Concurrently, you can lose a lot. What are your thoughts? Is Zilliqa gonna go nuts or should we rely purely on TA? I'd like to know what's actually gonna happen with Bitcoin. I'm getting some comments out there that Bitcoin could pull back significantly. Others are saying, well, maybe this hovering around the $10,000 mark is good for the coin as it's stabilizing. I kind of tend to agree with the latter. I mean, it's funny, you know, people get really scared of the volatility in crypto and they, they get pushed off by it. And so they don't want to get into it unless they're risk takers. But then it's so ironic that when crypto actually stabilizes, as we can see with Bitcoin over the last few months, where it's kind of been quite stable. When you think about Bitcoin's history over the last even six to 12 months, relative to its entire journey, it's been pretty stable. Now, for us crypto goers, we're saying that it's kind of boring because nothing's really happening. Are we bearish? Are we bullish? Well, at the moment, it's just drifting sideways in a little tight sideways wedge. But the irony, as I said, is that when we get volatility, it makes people scared. But when we get stability, we get boredom. So I'm actually comfortable with what Bitcoin's doing at the moment. And I am more excited about what's happening in the altcoin space because we can see huge advancements in these coins. Right, let's get on to this second article about Zilliqa. This article, also from Ethereum World News, is titled Ethereum Classic or ETC Miners Can Now Also Mine Zilliqa with a Code of Zil. And by the way, if you want either of those coins, use the link below, safe link to get these coins. The, in brief, this article is about Ethereum Classic Miners Can Now Opt to Also Mine Zilliqa. ETC Miners in the EtherMine Mining Pool can update their mining code to support Zilliqa mining via easel.me. The merged mining operates by automatically switching between mining ZIL and ETC. Now, if you want to get into mining, I've got no links for this, but if you want to get to mining, um, just keep in mind that mining is uh, exciting, but after you set it up, it can get boring. If you look at some of the commentators who have been mining, when they first get into it, you're setting up these rigs, you're buying this equipment, you're looking for the mining pools, you're watching what's happening, and you're kind of printing digital money before your eyes. But after a while, when you start getting the electricity bills and you're dealing with cleaning these units and monitoring these units and watching the temperatures of these units and dealing with the noise, there's a lot of noise with these units, it can get a little bit frustrating. So. I have a huge mining rig uh, back home and I would love to get back there and get into it, especially to mine some of the silica and using some of the equipment I've got. If I could switch it over to using Zilliqa, I would certainly do it. But this automatic switching between Zill and ETC, exciting stuff. The article reads, Ethereum Classic or ETC miners now have the option of configuring their rigs to also mine Zilliqa. The new feature was launched yesterday, that being the 17th of June, this article being a couple of days old, after a period of beta testing where miners gave their feedback and improvement proposals to the team at EaselMine. Uh, easel.me rather. The team at easel.me has requested anyone interested in the dual mining to visit their mining instructions page for information on how to set up their ETC rigs to connect to their mining pool. Furthermore, the mining of ETC and Zilliqa will be carried out via automatically switching between the two blockchains using a setup time period as explained below. Quote, once you connect to our pool, we will redirect you to one of the biggest and allegedly most profitable pools, which is etc.ethermine.org, prior to the start of Zill round every 15, oh, sorry, 1.5 hours. And this will automatically switch your rig to Zill mining, and once Zill round is over, you will be seamlessly switched back to mining ETC. Just brilliant, uh, I'd love to get in on that. Can't wait to get back. Uh, no action required from you. The process runs just like your regular ETC mining. In terms of expected results, the following income prediction module is also provided by the team at easel.me. Uh, full disclosure, I have no affiliate with any of these pools or uh, articles or mining companies, if you will. Uh, but we can see here that the income forecast 
uh, for the month for ETC is about 57 ETCs and for Zill you get 2,871 and in dollars what are we talking about? Well that's a collected of a, of a day, $14.28 a day, that's pretty good, $14 a day and over a month that's 428 US dollars. Um, but before you get too excited about mining that, you'd have to calculate what the electricity is, what machine you're using, that is your return of investment on the machine that you purchase. And of course, as I mentioned, the noise, how much baffling and uh, when I set up my mining uh, rig and I put it in a, the top level of my garage, I spent a lot of money making it soundproof. And the, the challenge of soundproofing a room, especially when it's got miners in it, is that you also need airflow. So you've got this balance of trying to get cool air in, hot air out, whilst also trapping the noise. Um, it's a bit of an art, and that's why when you start mining at first, it can be pretty fun, uh, and to others it can be quite frustrating. But in any case, 428 US dollars per month to mine both ETC and Zill, it's pretty good. And remember, that's at today's prices. If Zill goes up, whatever you've mined today, those 2,871 units per month, if they go up to a dollar, if it could, maybe $2, I don't know, it could go even further or less, but in any case, if it's more than the roughly two cent it is at the moment, that's gonna be an even bigger return. Dual mining of ETC and Zill could provide further incentives for ETH miners to switch to Ethereum Classic. Earlier in the week, the team at Ethereum Classic highlight, highlighted the possibility of miner migration from Ethereum to ETC once proof of stake is activated with Ethereum 2.0. The predicted shift will be due to miners' equipment becoming unusable in the mining of the old proof-of-work algorithm of Ethereum. The ETC blockchain is very much similar to the Ethereum blockchain and miners will, miners will not have a difficult time switching to Ethereum Classic. Now they, now they have the additional additionally incentive, that should be an additional incentive, to do so via the ability to dual mine ETC and Zilliqa. Now that's a really good point there as uh, we migrate from Ethereum, if you were 1.0 to 2.0 and you've got machines that can't really do anything and you can then switch it over um, from the old proof of work algorithm of Ethereum and you can now get into this proof of stake and mine two coins instead of just the one. I, I think that's huge for, the, for both coins. Ironically for both Ethereum and, or Ethereum Classic rather, and of course Zilliqa. Uh, I would wonder if someone like Bitmain, which is the biggest provider of ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuit miners in the world. I wonder if they will be ramping up their arms race for these miners to do ETC and Zilliqa. I wonder if they focus just on Zilliqa focused miners, uh, but you probably don't need to. If they're on the same algorithm and you can just switch between two and do it automatically, uh, why make a new machine just for that? Uh, a disclaimer from here, this article is not meant to give financial advice. Any additional opinion herein is purely the author's and does not represent the opinion of EWN or any of its other writers. Please carry out your own research before investing in any of the numerous cryptocurrencies available. Thank you. I think that's fair advice. Of course, the same applies to me. None of this is financial advice, except for the only financial advice I get is do your own research. Only risk what you can afford to lose, noting that all investments come with risk. And also, I always say get a good accountant. Um, I'm certainly, it's funny with my accountant, a really good guy. Uh, we have a great uh, partnership in many ways. He makes me a lot of money through making sure that I uh, calculate the returns on my money properly so I pay the right tax, but only pay what tax is required. But concurrently, I teach him a lot about crypto and we kind of feed it off each other. We have a synergistic relationship where we make each other a lot of money. And if you have an accountant and your accountant isn't giving you the returns that you want or you're not having a good relationship, just fire them and get another one. Accountants aren't um, in short supply. And the same goes for any sort of professional you have in your life. Sometimes we meet a professional, we think we've got to stay with that professional forever because we don't want to change. Not at all. Your life, your money, your health. If you don't like your doctor, get a new one. If you don't like your accountant, get a new one. If they're not making your returns, get a new one. And just on that like comment, um, remember these people aren't necessarily your friend. It's good if they are, but they don't have to be. If they're doing their job well, uh, I wouldn't necessarily fire an accountant just because you don't like the clothes he wears or the attitude he has towards a certain type of music or band. If they're making you good money and giving you good legal sound advice, stick with them and put up with whatever music or shoes he's wearing or listening to. Okay, let's close off with a joke for the day. But before we do, let's have a quick look at what this coin is doing on the markets. Over to the good people at coinlib.io, we can see Zillica sitting here at position 42, slid, uh, slid down the markets a little bit, uh, I think it crept up to position number 37, but check out this gain over the last uh, 30 days, we're looking at the 30 day charts here, up 111%, that's a great return, uh, currently trading at one, under 2 cents, it's at 
uh, 1.8 US cents. Uh, and we can also see here a market cap of 180 million uh, with a volume of 1.14 billion dollars. Uh, that's a big volume. You can see people are talking about this coin, people are trading this coin, and it's reflected in that volume. That is a massive volume over that last month, especially comparative to the market cap. Um, these are big returns. These are, are big returns in the markets of 111% in the last 30 days. And also, as we can see, as I mentioned, that volume, uh, it shows a lot of interest in the coin. I see a lot of interest in this coin. Uh, I started first speaking about this coin when it, I did a little bit of a deal with Pepsi and I was talking about it with Bo Stoner, Bo Stoner on Cryptocurrency Australia, uh, from Cryptocurrency Australia, rather, when we're doing the Stoner and Stokesy show. And we spoke about this coin. It was a, a pick for the week, uh, and it had good returns for me back then. Uh, it pulled back when all the coins pull back, but now this thing just keeps charging forward. Uh, don't forget also, if you want to buy this coin, the link below, if you want to get this coin off a site, use a secure method of doing so. Uh, there are many ways to secure your coins. And also a reminder that there is merch that you can now get. Here we are at the Adam Stokes Crypto Store. Yes, a very original name, uh, uh, I agree. Um, there are many shirts, tops, singlets, uh, even check out this, a little baby outfit if you want to get uh, one for your, uh, a suit for your little one. Um, there is also moon shirts that I've released, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, you can buy these things directly online. They get to you quite quickly. You can do reverse of these designs. So here are my moon shirts. I thought it would be a bit of fun to design one of those with a logo of the moon on the back. And you can also reverse it where you have the moon on the front. Your choice and the same goes for the Bitcoin tops. All right, link below. Let's check out a joke for the day before signing off. Because we've been talking about moon shirts, what better way to close off with than with a moon joke? What do moon people do after they get married? Go on their honey earth. I know that was terrible. There was about 10 I read before this and they were even worse than that. Again, I encourage you, if you have a joke, leave it in the comments below. And if it wins, I'll say it in my next uh, video and mention you as well. I'll give you a shout out. I'm Adam Stokes. Don't forget to hit that, hit that like, subscribe and share. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Go Zillica. And I'll talk to you next time.